Now, today I'm going to share some very important information for any young person out there planning, looking at, wanting to start their own business. It's very, very important that you pay attention uh, because a lot of time you don't have the right information before you start your own business. And a lot of people just say, oh, you have an idea, start your business, and after that, execute ABC. But the action, the decision of starting a business, you need to start thinking of certain things. And this is what I'm, this is what I've learned the hard way. That's why I'm sharing that, you know, to you guys. Uh, and hopefully for some of you guys, it, it'll be valuable uh, uh, lesson. But the reality is business is not just one entity. Um, Businessman, entrepreneurship, and social entrepreneurship, those are the three main segments of business. And we don't, we don't talk about it. Tradition, businessman or bi traditional business, I should say. Um, those are proven uh, systems. Those business, uh, those type of businesses have been around for, for, for decades. There's no much to be, you know, changed. I'll give you an example. Real estate, transportation, barbershop to cut hair. And those businesses have a much higher success rate than, let's say, entrepreneurship. Which entrepreneurship, I call entrepreneurship under innovation and, and invention, right? Um, entrepreneurship is when you want to start something new. And there's different degree within that also. Uh, it can be small innovation, can be big innovation. But innovation on its own, general, it's much harder. Because now you're bringing something new into the ecosystem. What does it mean bringing something new? It's not just a new process. You also have to educate people that you're targeting as customer, businesses, or individual about this new thing. People think, oh, I started innovation. It's new. It's going to revolutionize. Um, and it's going to just move like this. You know, and we all I always hear this, uh, this example. Oh, latest one, chat GPT. Um, chat GPT was not a, a, a instant, you know, uh, a success. There, there is no such thing as instant success in innovation, Right. Electrical car, as you know, now it's it's popular. It's been on going on for decades now. You know, the Tesla before Elon Musk. Uh, first of all, Elon Musk did not start Tesla. He just bought it out. Um, but when those guys started Tesla, it was very difficult. Please check out their, their interviews. So any innovation, and the deeper the innovation, the harder it is. Because you have to educate the customer. You have to educate the market. You have to also test because anybody, anytime you bring something new, there's skepticism. It's just human nature. People don't trust you. People don't believe you. And all I'm saying is it's a much longer journey. The success rate is much lower than traditional business. And finally, social entrepreneurship. Now, I've done all three. All three type of business, I've done it. Um, and social entrepreneurship is by far the hardest, especially when you have a hardware component. It's the hardest because social entrepreneurship is basically you, you, you trying to, you're targeting low income communities by bringing them a solution and already low income means low purchasing power and making money from people with little money. Just that statement is extremely hard. Now, that success rate is even lowest. End. And if you look carefully in the marketplace, most impact or social entrepreneur, it depends on the sector, uh, but let, let's focus on those who have hardware components. Most of them are not profitable, and most of them are not even sustainable. They're depending on grants, government subsidies. Uh, we did also, so there, there's no shame on it. It's just a reality. Um, 
And I actually believe, and I'll do another video on that one, that there needs to be a revamp of what, you know, uh, the approach should be. But why am I talking about those three options? Very simple. If you're a young man or woman and your target is to make money, your goal is just to have the highest success of making money, your focus is money, focus on traditional business. Very simple. I don't care if you have a big idea. I don't care. That will maximize, I could say, or increase your chance of being successful. All right. Now, if you're passionate, if you have, if if you really, if you if you really willing to be patient, if you're willing to wait ten years potentially. Uh, before you even become, you know, successful. Because success is defined, has different definition from different people. But become profitable. Then entrepreneurship, innovation, invention could be. But your rate of success, your rate of failure would be much higher than traditional business. But you're really passionate about what you do. Now, if you want to have an impact on people, you don't really value money, you know, your goal is not to be a millionaire or a billionaire. Your goal is to give back and have an impact. Then social entrepreneurship is the way to go. So you need to know where you fit in those three. You need to know. All right? Don't start a business just because, you know, oh, I, I heard. No, that's just the reality. You know, those three options will dictate where you're going to be based on what your focus is. So I hope that helps. Make sure you make the right decision. And you can always change. I mean, there's no uh, there's no uh, wrong or right when you do something in business. You know, it's just a matter of you can adapt and all those things. You can move from a social entrepreneurship, by the way, to a, 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 um, a focus, uh, you know, typical entrepreneurship business. And you can move from an entrepreneurship business to a, a traditional business, you know, by transitioning, moving or leaving some component out that can happen i hope that brings you value guys good luck to the new uh, uh business owner entrepreneurship and uh yeah i mean uh, make sure you make the right decision take care